They say every crime is born of necessity, but I disagree. Some are born of ambition. You see, all through school they tell you you can be whatever you want to be. But I can never choose to be just one thing. In noon, 30 seconds. As it stands right now, I consider myself a proficient lock picker, pickpocket, con artist, and overall renaissance man of crime. Sure, it's not your average job. It's a tough life, and sometimes it's hard to stick to the plan. But why settle for one thing when you can have everything? Of course there's risks involved. That's true of anything worth doing. Most days, you don't even know where you'll end up. And sometimes, you just need to know when to cut your losses. Hank Franklin, and I aspire to be a master criminal. These days I try and play things smarter. All I needed was a new scheme. An artist needs inspiration, but inspiration doesn't just tap you on the shoulder. Hank? Allison? I mean, Allison. Oh my god, I haven't seen you since high school. Didn't I hear that you went to the University of... Uh, yeah, I dropped out. I just couldn't pick a major. I wouldn't want to limit myself like that, you know? Oh. So, what do you do? I guess you could say I work in project management. I have my hands in a lot of things. Yeah, that was always you, trying to be the jack of all trades. Oh, why? What do you do? I just finished my PhD in epidemiology. It's the science of health and diseases across populations. Populations, sure, of course. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, it's great. I work at a research facility near here. I can just walk to work. Bonkers. Well, it's good seeing you. Next week is going to be pretty crazy. We've got this new drug coming in for testing and blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a nightmare. Really? What's the deal with this drug? Is it, like, valuable? Valuable? Well, it's valued in the medical industry, sure. It's inherently hard to manufacture, I know that. It's gonna be worth a lot to somebody someday. Hank, are you even listening to me? Which brings me to the purpose of tonight's meeting. LGX-50. This is a powerful new anesthetic that makes morphine feel like Tylenol. They're currently testing it on circus animals. Anytime they want to conk out Shamu, they use this stuff. And we're gonna steal it. The objective, to legally gain access to the John Napier Medical Research Facility with the intent to locate and obtain not one, but two cases of the drug in question, shown here. To do that, I'm gonna need a crew. I've called you all here for one reason. You're all criminals, some form or another. Majid here is an expert in the field of IT and electronics. Met him down at Circuit Surplus. He sold me the sweet flat screen. Bet you got a nice commission on that, huh, Majid? I told you I don't work there. I'm customer like anyone else. Nate, from what I gather, is the top ballistics expert on the street. Ever heard of that bolt made out of cucumber? No. That was him. You ever try and lift a print off a cucumber? It's impossible. And last but certainly not least, is Lawrence. Larry here Lawrence. is... Lawrence here is the foremost getaway driver in the country. He can get you out of any jam. 
no matter how tight. Uh, I have a question. What are we stealing? Are you serious? I just explain this. We can't afford to be confused here. I am confused. I thought I was here to fix your laptop. And we'll get to that. But right now we're stealing boxes of medicine. And who are we selling this to? Black Market. You got a buyer lined up? Well, no, but we will find somebody. It's the black market. And this is a legitimate market? Back home, we have fish market. Is this similarity? No, man, this is the criminal underworld, OK? Of course, it's not legitimate. It's a black market. No offense, Nate. Well, fuck you, man. You can't say that shit no more. It is 2000. I'm just making a point. All right, I've heard enough. Wait, where are you going? I'm out. I don't want any part of this. Hey, no, 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 no. You can't leave me here, man. Please, Larry, you don't know. You guys want my opinion? This guy's gonna get you all killed. Come on, Lawrence, I need you, man. I bought the suit just for the meeting. Don't leave me alone with these guys. Come on, they're a bunch of amateurs, man. We don't need him. But he was the go-away driver. Well, you can drive, can you? Yo, what about me? We can't have you driving for obvious reasons. What obvious reasons? You don't make the black guy the getaway driver. That's criminalistics 101. Criminalistics. Now that's racist, man. I I'm not racist, OK? Society is racist. A uh, cop sees a black guy driving down the street as soon as he's a criminal? I mean, in this case, you are. I only have my learner's permit. I don't even have a car. Where are we going to get a car? What's the top speed on this thing? Oh, who cares, man? Damn thing's an eyesore. That's a spirit. It does look like a dinosaur. But Jade, think you can handle this? I don't know. Good. Last thing we need are any obstacles. Speaking of which, Nate, on the day of, can I count you to pull those pants up? What? All right, let's get moving. We got a lot of work to do. Guys, dead, dead. What the hell is that, man? That's our theme song, man. Come on. Step one, reconnaissance. In order to be efficient, we need to know the facility inside and out. Won't there be, like, employees in there? That's why we break in on a Sunday. Shouldn't be anyone there. Step two, preparation. Our weapons? Paintball guns. Engineered to shoot ball bearings. Non-lethal, because we don't want an extra life sentence in the event we're caught. It's just that simple. Majid's job will be to build a scrambler for their lock system. With his knowledge of circuitry, it should be a cinch. Yo, let me ask you, you trust this guy? Seems pretty smart to me. In order to be a good lookout, we have to increase your awareness. Here, put his hearing aids on. Crank them up to max volume. It should give you superhuman hearing. Won't this affect my equilibrium? Throw off my balance? Never heard of that. Pull those pants up, Nick. Clear! Yeah! Oh, I almost forgot. Got these masks for us to wear. The only ones they had three of. And we're gonna look like idiots. It's gonna have to do. And rest up. Tomorrow's the big day. The fuck's he looking at? See? This is kind of fun. Nobody said it couldn't be fun. This mask is very itchy. Let's just get on with it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate's right. Ready? Buckle up. I feel kind of dizzy. Just do it, Machine! It's 
sounds like there's eight, no, maybe nine people in there. What the hell? Shoot. Well, we're here to do this. We're just gonna have to go in real casual. Like we worked there or something. Seven or eight people, my ass. I'm sorry. I'm Quiet. See you, sister. I didn't know this. Follow my leash, please. Pull the trigger, man. Ice this bitch. Excuse me, miss? Do you know where the drug LGX-50 is? You boys are awfully pale. Are y'all related? Answer the question, Rebecca, we'll kill you! Oh. Hey, you don't gotta be so mean. She seems like a very nice lady. Man, we got time for this shit. I'm just saying, you know, for next time. We don't do this shit. They ain't gonna be no next time. Guys. Well, fair enough, but... Guys! What? what? It's at the end of the hall. this routine traffic report to bring you a breaking story of what appears to be a robbery in progress at the John Napier Medical Research Facility. Now details are still sketchy, but it appears the would-be thieves are frantically trying to jumpstart what I can only imagine is their getaway vehicle. As you can see, security guards are running for cover Hey, do we know if anyone has called the police yet? Go to it! Go to it! Back him! Back him! It now appears the man I can only assume is the ringleader has removed his mask and he's now firing at our news camera. Oh! Oh! Get in! Get in! Oh! Run up the damn news! Get in the car! 
exactly as I planned. I'll kill you after this. Police are still looking for this man and are asking anyone with information to come forward. The criminals made use of paintball guns, weaponized to shoot brass ball bearings, some of which were recovered. Allison, it's Hank. You're probably wondering how I got your number. Well, it wasn't easy. I went back to the restaurant and asked around. Then I remembered you don't work there. You work at the medical facility. I knew that. Anyways, I want you to know that I'm not just some two-bit thief. I'm an excellent thief. You may have your PhD in epidermiology, but I just earned my master's in crime. The thieves made off with just over 200 liquid ounces of LGX-50. Police say it has a street value of over $400,000. However, we're now getting disturbing reports that a case of radioactive cobalt-60, commonly found in medical devices used in radiation therapy, was also stolen during today's robbery. If this is true, this poses a potentially deadly situation. Experts say that if the containers were opened even slightly, the radiation poisoning would be so severe that anyone exposed would be dead within the week. Oh!